How you doing, sir? How you doing, man? All right, hanging in there. You got me six? Yep. That lady wanted to buy, that lady wanted to buy off. No. <laughs> She's going down to North Carolina. And they drive, they drive right by the store. So, what, well, are you, what are you wearing? First things first. Yep. I have my own YouTube channel. I want to give you a mask. Well, cool. So check me out on YouTube. It's machine washable. It's embroidered. Ripping. Lips INC on YouTube. Ripping Lips Inc. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay. I, I'm the only one that has Ripping Lips INC on YouTube. There's probably 10 Ripping Lips. So okay. I had to designate myself as INC. Uh, yeah. It's all fishing and hunting videos, and I got a couple of mustard chicken videos, and I'm about to have a Brunswick stew video. <laughs> cool. but, but for all the viewers, could you tell me about your Brunswick stew again? Because I know you said you have no fillers, uh, the best meat involved. What are the other ingredients you have in your Brunswick stew? Chicken breast meat only. Not only that, but it's the tenderloin of the breast. When you open up a breast, fried or baked, open it up, there's a cigar shaped piece of meat with tenderloin yes, sir. wrapped in a sheathing. We use that because nothing runs through it. Right. No veins, knuckles, bristles, tendons, cartilage. Yes, sir. I don't have to worry about you. I don't have to spend time getting the veins out of a breast and you and take a chance on you having a finding a vein hanging off the end of your spoon. Yes, sir. I understand. Uh, so it's the tenderloin only. You can buy, you can buy them by the case. Um, we're cooking distilled water. Right. This water you and I can put our hands Cast on. Cast iron pot. Yep. Um, so distilled water is the only water that medical equipment uses. Not from, we don't use water from a garden hose, which is very typical. Animal fat on the water when we finish cooking the meat. 100 year old, 55 gallon cattle. Animal fat on the water, 120 pounds of breast meat, like that. So okay. Skin, a little right. fat is flavor. So lima beans, corn? Not, not fat like that. I got you. But it's like that, typically soaked up with bread, cracks, and flour so people don't see it. I remember you saying that, yes. Not the first grain. No bread, no crackers, no flour, no wheat, no gluten, no oatmeal, no grits, no mashed potato flakes. All of those dry ingredients will soak up all that fat in 90 seconds. Correct. And after you dump in, typically, 50 to 70 pounds of filler into a big pot to soak up fat floating on the water like that so you can sell it versus discarding it. The stew will start to turn bland. Correct. Salt is flavor. Correct. I've seen one, two, or three Morton salt containers dumped into a big pot. Depending on whether it's a 50 gallon pot like ours, an 80 gallon pot, a 120 gallon pot, so pounds of salt, typically flavor pounds of filler, adding gallons of fat, from the least expensive fat is meat, a fundraiser to put their hands on. Now are you using like a wooden paddle to yep. keep it from sticking? Yep. Okay. Not, not the first grain of salt added to this, to flavor the first grain of bread, to hide the first teaspoon of fat. Got you. So I got you. Cleanest, to do. Nine out of 10 people have ever bought 
which is why we have a following that we do. Now, I understand you're from around the Brunswick area. Yep, Brunswick County, Alberta. Go figure. <laughs> so this is a this is the real thing. That's the real deal. Cooked in the real That's pot, why I'm here. In the real county. Yes. By a real county native. Yes, sir. Uh, and they call you Uncle Chuck. Yep. Now, who, who named you Uncle Chuck, and why is it spelled K-O-L? My niece. OK. She gave us a drawing when she was five or six years old. Gave us a drawing, eight and a half by 11, a stick house, a stick man, stick woman, two stick cats. OK. <laughs> and up in the clouds, it said, I love my uncle, U-K-O-L, Chuck, and Art Cheryl. We put an N in it and put quotation marks around it so people wouldn't think we couldn't spell. Okay. Well, there's a reason for everything. That's why I asked. The, and at Farmer Markets, which is where we sell 95% of it, um, if the market ends in September, October, November, as most of them do, and begins again in April or May, there are four year-round markets in the Richmond area go all year. Okay. But well, most of them in any city go from May to November. So when people come back to the market in May, um, if they're elderly, typically, <laughs> yeah. and have trouble recalling, right. you ain't got to be elderly to have trouble recalling. I can't recall nothing. I hear you. <laughs> they will walk by my booth and say, is this uncle's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uncle's. that's what you say, yeah. So they, they remember that more quickly, more often, more readily than they do chunks. Correct, yeah. So. <laughs> How much do I owe you for the six cores? Uh, 1075 includes the tax. Okay, what is the total so I can pay uh, you? 50, uh, 60, 65, 50. And I will make good use of this. They, you say this site is what? Primarily it's fishing? Fishing, hunting, and I got a couple mustard chicken videos and I play guitar, so I got a couple guitar videos. What's mustard chicken? That's a good question. Um, how about I just give you 66 and we call it even? Deal. Okay. Deal. Mustard chicken, um, I got turned on to that from a lady that I used to work with at my last job. And I asked her one day at work, I said, I got some chicken thighs at the house that I'm going to cook up tonight. I said, how would you prepare it? And she said right off the top of her head, I would make mustard chicken. And I said, I've never heard of that. What is that? What is she said, well, and 